Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our 10-month-old baby. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with a new recipe. It is called Cheez-It Meatloaf. And I will be sure to leave the link for the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. So in my bowl, I have two eggs that I've already cracked and I am going to add some lean ground beef. And this is two pounds. And this was in my freezer. I've been trying to use up stuff in my freezer and pantry. And I am going to add one packet of this onion soup mix. And then I've already crushed up some Cheez-Its. So here they are in my little Ziploc bag. And I'm just gonna get in there with my hands and get everything all combined. Now this recipe does not have a glaze on it. Uh, they want you to top it with cheddar cheese, um, but I do like a glaze on my um, meatloaf. So I'm just gonna make a glaze out of a half a cup of ketchup and a half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm gonna add that to the top once I get everything all combined. So I have my meat mixture all combined here. And then right here, I have a pan that I've just lined with foil. Now the recipe calls for you to put it in a loaf pan, but I never make my meatloafs in a loaf pan. I just feel like it takes them longer to cook. And then the oil sometimes just sits in there and I'm not crazy about it. So I always form my meatloaf in a pan just like this and bake it. And then right here, I have the glaze that I'm going to add on top which is just a half cup of packed brown sugar and a half cup of ketchup. So let's start forming our meatloaf. So I have my meatloaf all formed and I am just going to add my glaze over the meatloaf. Now I did set a little bit of it aside just in case it happens to dry out during the cooking process so that I can add some more to it. But you're just going to just lay this over your meatloaf. And I do have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake this for an hour or until it's done. And then the recipe calls for you to add a fourth of a cup of cheese on top of the meatloaf when it's uh, finished cooking and to let the cheese melt and then you pull it out. So I'm gonna add, cause we like cheese, I'm gonna add more than a fourth of a cup um, to this. All right, so here it is. It's ready to go into the oven. So here is the meatloaf. And I ended up baking this for one hour and then I added sliced cheese on top. I didn't have any shredded cheese to use. So I cut it diagonally and laid it across the top and baked it for an additional five minutes. So I baked this for about an hour and five minutes total. And as you can see, the glaze stayed. So it didn't burn off like I thought it would. So here is the inside of it. And Howard and I tasted it and it's pretty good. Um, I don't taste the Cheez-Its that much, um, but it, it is good. It does have a good flavor. And so here's our plate. Well, here's Howard's plate. So I cut a slice off for him, and then I am just serving this with some mashed potatoes. I was gonna make homemade mashed potatoes because I do have everything for it, but honestly, with Thanksgiving coming up next week, I just don't feel, 
I also like making homemade mashed potatoes. I'm gonna be making them next week. So I just use these that I had in my pantry and I doctored them up. You're supposed to use two cups of water. And so I used one cup of water, one cup of half and half, and then I added butter to it. And here is what they look like. And then I just had some fresh broccolini in my fridge that I just stir fried in a little bit of oil and garlic salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up some stuff from my freezer. So I had this in my freezer, General Tso's chicken, and it is from Winco, which is a grocery store around here. Comes with the chicken and the um, little sauce packets, and I made it in the skillet. And so this is what it looks like. It does not look anything like that. I don't know why this always turns out so dark, but it does. So we're having that, and then I just made some fried rice with green onions. I just um, stir, stir fried some rice, added some onion in there and used some garlic salt with it and then also some sesame oil. And then I had a small cabbage, so I used half of it for dinner tonight. And then the other half, I'm gonna be making some sausage, potato and cabbage soup later on this week. So I seasoned the cabbage with this. Korean barbecue seasoning and some sesame oil and then the garlic salt as well. So of course this isn't really for vegetables, but I just use my seasonings for whatever I want to. If it's steak seasoning and I want to use it on my chicken, I do chicken seasoning. I use it on my steak, I use it on my pork. I use seasonings um, for you know the flavor and whatever I think it would go with. So that's what I used on my cabbage and then I decided to make a little soup. I really like Kikkoman soup and uh, my favorite is their hot and sour, but I had this in my pantry and wanted to use it. So I made it and it calls for one egg, which I usually add. See the egg right there in the picture. I usually add it in, but I didn't this time because I added in um, a few of these chicken cilantro mini wontons. I say a few, I added in eight, four for Howard, four for me. And here it is, so I made kind of like a little wonton soup. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are using up some stuff from our freezer. I had um, some pork steak in the freezer and I found it on sale at Tom Thumb about a month ago and I got two huge pork steaks in a package and they were being clearanced out for $1.50. So that's what Howard grilled out for us today. And then he just added some barbecue sauce to it. I had some leftover green beans in the fridge that I needed to use up. And then we are just having some pastaroni on the side. Howard really likes this. This was in our pantry and I needed to use that too. It is the Parmesan cheese. And I think this one is his favorite. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am having sausage, potato and cabbage soup. And I have served this plenty of times on our what's for dinner videos, but I don't think I've ever shown you how easy it is to make. So in my um, pot here, I have one pound of hot breakfast sausage and I have one medium onion and I have probably about four tablespoons of garlic and I've let that cook all the way through. To it, I'm going to add in my potatoes. This is about two large potatoes that I've cut into cubes. And I'm going to add half a head of cabbage. This was actually a small head of cabbage. It's half and I just cut it into slices. I'm gonna drop that in. And to it, I'm going to add eight cups of water. It actually calls for eight cups of chicken stock, but I'm going to use bouillon. I don't have any um, cans of chicken stock in my pantry, and I have a ton of bouillon um, that I need to use up. So I'm gonna add in my eight cups of water.
And then I'm going to add in my bouillon. So I have this, this is from Noor, and it's a home style stock. So I'm gonna add a couple of those in. And I don't quite have enough, so I have a little bit of bouillon in here that I'm going to use as well. And then for my seasoning, I'm using some salt and I'm using white pepper. The recipe calls for black pepper, but I wanted to give this white pepper a try. I heard it's spicier than black pepper, so I'm just gonna drop that in. So I'm just gonna give this a stir. And it's gonna take a while for those for that stock to dissolve. So I'm gonna give this a stir, and then I am just going to let this cook on low, let it simmer for about an hour. And when it's all finished, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. I was getting ready to record the soup and someone started making a lot of noise. Right, Harrison? Now he's being bashful again. All right. So here is the soup. I let it simmer on low for about an hour. Um, and I thought I remembered this recipe, but I didn't exactly remember it. So I was supposed to add in the cabbage last after the potatoes cook, but as you know, I added everything in together and it still turned out fine. Um, but I did want to mention that I was supposed to wait and add in the cabbage. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard went and picked up pizza for us. This is from Domino's. And we both realized we haven't had Domino's in probably years, but they were or are running a special. You get two for $5.99 each. So we got a medium two topping pizza with pepperoni and sausage. And then we got a side of stuffed cheesy bread and a marinara, marinara, or any of the sauces. None of the sauces come with anything. You have to pay for them separately. I think Howard said this was 75 cents. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.